Hello, welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Amplify with me, Fulton Symmetry. And today, uh, here we are at the prank we did last episode. It hasn't even gone out yet, and I'm already recording the next video because I have a pretty cool task uh, while I'm actually here. And I think the pigmen are still aggro, so I might as well get on with something here rather than out there because cre creepy stuff. Pigmen can basically keep killing me, which is why. Why am I wearing diamond armor? Well, actually, saying that they haven't killed me. I've got, still got 80 deaths, and I've had 80 deaths for a while now. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's the thing. But anyway, I left a little sign here as well. The lack of grass was disturbing, so I added some back. Yeah, disturbing is exactly the word. It was very disturbing, yeah? Well, it does look kind of like a barren wasteland over here with, like, loads of mobs everywhere. So I guess it kind of is a bit disturbing. It's a bit it's a bit non minecrafty I guess. You know, the traditional image you have in your head of Minecraft is lush grass, some oak trees and some flowers and some animals and stuff. And then that's just, like, the opposite over there. So uh, I don't even know. But today we're going to be working on this, the portal to window platform. Because Azuma was like, hey, Fold, I've got this thing. It's not written down on the board but you know if you want to do it then go ahead and stuff and I'm guessing he said basically he said that the window was the same height as the portal and it's kind of a little bit higher there but I think this is what he means I think he means this to here I'll double check with him in a moment but I'm pretty sure that's what he means the window which is that's the only window I think to the portal uh, and there isn't a portal anywhere else so I'm guessing he means this here so, I mean, he's left, like, a little bit of an area there, so I'm guessing, perhaps, that this will be connected to there, and you'll be able to actually see the Iron Golem that Pythor made, which I'm hoping the video's gone out by now. It should have done, since this video is going up a little bit later than I'm recording it. But yes, look how awesome he looks. He looks so, so cool. So, Pythor, nice work on that. It looks awesome. And also, Zuma, this, this place is looking pretty magical. Uh, just needs the finishing touches and the floor and things like that, and I think it'll just be super super awesome it's a really, really nice project and i'm glad that you know it's, it's being you know put to like a bit of a community project uh because obviously every time i do a community project it doesn't always work out so it's nice to see that people are working on this together which is really really cool so i am happy to be uh, working on this as well so i'm thinking the staircase might need changing i'm not sure yet uh, I think he wants a door here. I haven't gone to see his video, which I probably should do, just so that he, I know exactly what he's thinking uh, for the area. But yeah, that platform is what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead, get my stuff together. That should be up here. This is this is the only stuff I have here so far. All of this, <laughs> which is the wrong colour. But um, we'll go do that, and I'll come back in a bit to uh, to start the platform area. Okay, so I have played around with this for a little bit on live stream. If you guys were there, then thank you very much for joining me. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed actually working on this. I haven't done a crazy amount. That's because I did a bit of digging, a bit of working stuff out, a bit of trying some different pillar designs here. What I basically did was replicate that there, here, and like made it go that way to, to connect with that. And it made like a cool archway from this angle. And also made one there, exactly the same, but it wasn't working, like, at all. And people were like, no falls, get rid of it and stuff, so no one was a big fan. So I kept it with the uh, straight pillars, basically. And I also added a little, bit, a little bit of glass, and these areas here I haven't quite decided yet. Should these be open? Should these have a floor? I don't know yet, we'll, we'll decide in a bit, I'm sure. But yes, I've also added, removed all of this bit here, added glass, so you can actually see... Um, uh, Stumpy, which is what what my stream named him, because he's a little bit short. He's adorable. He's so so cute. Uh, which Python made um, over there, just so you can see him a little bit better. Uh, it opens it up a lot more, makes him more central, and uh, yeah, he looks really really cool. So, as you may already have noticed, there is also a new staircase this side, because this was the one that was here previously, but now we have one over here, which looks a lot better. We still haven't like figured out how the design will work yet, but. It goes down this way, it goes down this way, and it goes down this way, which is really, really nice because it just feels a lot more... Which I'm, I'm basically going with quite an industrial feel. I still haven't watched the Zoomers video on it, so I don't know if he said industrial or whether or not it was my stream saying industrial, but industrial, I think, will work with this. I mean, the Zoomers kind of pretty much gone with industrial anyway. He has left like a whole bunch of dirt blocks up here, I've just realised, so... I guess I'll have to clear those up in a second, but um, what I'm going to do is just spend a little bit of time figuring out some stuff. But we have already made a little um, 
idea over here basically this is going to go through it goes down that way and then turns right a little bit and it goes to the end portal room which is really really nice so i'm adding that uh, which is quite a nice little touch it means that i mean in the nether they're really really close to each other you don't really need to take that but you know if you wanted iron and you wanted to go to the the end portal i don't know i don't know it basically connects the two which is quite a nice little idea and you know what? i'm like building tunnels i really like it so there's that also, I did change this portal a little bit. It does look a lot thinner uh, because I had to move it in to this side because um, basically this was not central with the floor and this building. So, yeah. But I'm going to be adding a whole bunch of iron like from this side over on this side so that it does, does cover up the redstone because I don't think there's a safe way, way of me removing this and showing the redstone. Actually, there might be. Hmm. Because I kind of like the idea of showing the redstone off, but there is no way I can make this whole thing here symmetrical. Everything else will be symmetrical, but... But this, so <laughs> we're doing the best we can. But anyway, I'm going to head off and go live stream on my Patreon server for a little bit. And when I come back afterwards, we'll start work on this and hopefully uh, make this room start looking a little bit more awesome. Because, yeah, even adding this platform here makes the room a whole bunch larger and works well with the build. So I'm looking forward to it. Live stream done and it was fun as always. And I finished up uh, that night. Well, it, yeah, it was yesterday night. Uh, last night, and um, I finished up all my Patreon banners, at least the ones I've been sent. If you are a Patron, or you're thinking about becoming a Patron in the next month or two, let me know your banner design so I can add it to the uh, to the area. It's super, super awesome, and they look so, so cool. So all the ones with the redstone torches are current Patrons. This is basically how I'm sorting it out, meaning that I don't need to take them all down and stuff like that and get confused at whose is who. But uh, they're all looking pretty awesome. I've even got um, some, some along here as well. I've also been keeping uh, some of my past patrons banners up as well around this back area. I need to move the sheep. The sheep, the sheep don't need to be there anymore, but they are. Uh, but yes, it's a super, super awesome area. Just thought I would show it since I don't really show it on uh, on camera very often. I don't think I've been here. I don't think I come here very often. But uh, I have also moved all of my chests up here. So this is my little kind of you know little banner making area so that when I'm doing them in live streams uh yeah they're up there and also left some some old banners in these two chests here as well because uh, I don't have the names with them anymore because they were just in a chest so uh, I've actually cleared up this area here no more chests it's looking wonderful as always but anyway back to the iron farm to work on the stuff we were doing over there so first things first, I think what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time making the other staircase. I think I've decided that this one is pretty alright. I think this is the one that we're going to go with. It's very industrial. The fact that it has the long the long pathway along there. Also, what I'm going to do off camera right now is where this door is. It's kind of a door. I think we're going to keep the death machine, I'm pretty sure. So that's going to stay there. So that's going to be an open door there. We're also going to have an open door there as well because the whole thing with this coming down and it pretty much being right next to the wall and coming out is not quite ideal. It feels a bit cramped. So, you know, we got this, we got all of this room in here. We might as well fill it with stuff that actually kind of works a little bit better. So, we're moving this staircase right now. So, I'm going to remove this, build that one over here as well, and then we'll take another look at it to see what it looks like. So, I think it's going to look pretty, pretty cool. Okay, both staircases done. They are looking pretty snazzy. I've just been tweaking this a little bit here. There was stone brick going all the way up here. Now, I'm using my camera account so I don't break anything. So, I know for sure I'm never going to break anything. Well, fingers crossed. Uh, just kind of just change that. But basically, this is really... You'll see them come by in a second. The roses or like puppies or whatever come down here. And that's like literally it. They just pop out of there and then go down, I guess, towards the nether portal they're not going to do it now there we are there we are i think i picked them up but um yeah that's basically what that is so i'm tempted to actually add glass along here and make it look like a pipe um and then there's just like a nice little way down here which i kind of boxed in and made it look a little bit more like an actual thing uh just because otherwise you know it doesn't really look like it's doing much and uh, yeah no it looks cool because it's like like holding itself up now basically although this still looks very floaty which i don't know if i like or not I'm t tempted to add pillars, but I kind of don't want to as well. So I don't know, I don't know. But I've also uh, tweaked this a little bit, got rid of those uh, ugly dark oak stairs, replaced them with stone brick ones over there, and also I've done similar over here. Basically copied the staircase, because it is it's off-center in some way. Basically, we have to make this symmetrical this way, rather than this way, because it just doesn't work otherwise that... 
that obviously isn't you know meant to be the right in it basically wasn't made to be fitting in this in this building like it is uh, dude is my are my sounds off yeah they are off They're, the hostile creatures are off not not good at all not good at all can't hear these guys coming towards me <laughs> not that you can hear a creeper anyway but yeah so that is basically where the staircase slash outside door is going to be i think it's quite a good little area um and yeah we don't really know what's going to go on out here i i guess it'd be kind of cool especially if these villager breed breeders i guess over here are staying which i'm pretty sure they are to make like a path or something come around here and and kind of you know you can see the villages and stuff uh, a little, little bit of like a a way of actually seeing how the Iron Titan works, because at the moment you're very much just in this room and you can't really go to see anything. So it'd be nice to see where the poppies go and things like that. I don't really know if I'm going to add glass anywhere else as like a viewing area, but um, no, I don't think there is any other place for it. But I do really need to light this area up, area up here as well. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. What I'm going to do now is add some iron along here, just so it balances this out here as well. And then, we need to actually remove this block as well, I just double checked that that wasn't anything special behind it, there wasn't like a redstone torch on the back of it or anything, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. And then we need to actually work out what we're doing with this actual platform, because this is the main area that I think we're meant to be working on, and I'm kind of tweaking other things around the place, so I probably shouldn't be doing that, but let's see what we can come up with with up here as well. Okay, up here again, I've done the lighting, I've done some little archways here, just to give it a bit more shape. Uh, this obviously just copies the shape of the building, which is quite nice, and then those just attach up like that, which just kind of adds a little bit of detail. We've added water pillars down the bottom, uh, like so, and I've just added those ones, which, huh, I don't know, I couldn't have them too far back here, and I also wanted them to line up with that pillar over there, the one that's holding up the, uh, the staircases, um, and... I'm not sure what I think of it. Uh, I've also done this, which I this is this is something that I do really, really like, and I do hope Azuma likes. Is this little? Um, well, firstly, I've added this, and I think I think it might be tw 2014 that this actually was made. So probably got the wrong date on there, but that's fine, or wrong year at least. Uh, but I put this like little warning thing, like you know, if you ever go to a warehouse, they have these little stripes on the floor, like you know, separating you know the dangerous areas and the areas that aren't so dangerous, I guess, uh, and pathways and things. So yeah, I've got that going, and I quite like it. It's just a nice little pop of colour that would go only here and there. Uh, it probably could go like around this thing as well. This, this is this is definitely a dangerous thing. This is definitely a dangerous piece of machinery that shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be touched. So uh, I don't know. I guess that's an option. Um, I'm tempted to change the glass in that, but I don't know. I think I'm going to leave that to Azuma because I think he's putting a building around it by the looks of it. I don't know. I really need to speak to him a bit more maybe about it or something, but I don't know. I guess I'll wait and see what he makes and stuff. Just realised that it's actually uh, that's actually floating. I haven't been over and looked at that properly for ages. The water is just floating there. But yeah, this is what I have so far. So basically, the reason I'm showing you guys this and the little little touches that I'm making, and especially this area over here, I may have mentioned in the episode already, but this basically is a little tunnel that goes down to the um, to the end farm portal. Yeah, so to the end portal, yeah, basically. Uh, and I want to put something here, some kind of symbol, some kind of door. Now, I was thinking having like a villager with his arms out holding an ender pearl, but I don't think that will work there. I only like the top half of the villager, not like the whole villager. But if anyone has a really cool idea of, you know, maybe combining something to do with the Iron Titan, you know, uh, may not necessarily a golem, we've already got a golem out there, but a villager maybe, and, and something to do with the end, or an enderman or something. It'd be really nice to have some kind of mu murally thing there to signify that that's where that's going to go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure though, I'm not sure though. But we've got so much room in here that it just seems silly not to add anything at this side so it'd be really cool to have a pathway so if you guys are any good at designing things and you want to have a go at that perhaps or you have any ideas for anything actually in this area then let me know tweet me or you know send me a message you know take a screenshot whatever whatever you want to do and i'll take a look at it and anything that i think will fit in here i will build uh and it should be really really fun to kind of collaborate with you guys a little bit on this as well and i'm sure the other hermits will agree uh with the idea i think it's cool i think it's cool i really like kind of getting you guys to help like you know maybe design something or give ideas i'm sure there's something i've missed that should definitely go in here i was thinking that if there wasn't anything planned for the floor we'd build less, just quite a general floor and then like build little machines like a little uh forklift truck and things like that and maybe even some boxes and, and things and making it look like an actual factory i have no idea i have no idea but um 
And right now, I'm actually planning, I'm thinking that this might look kind of cool with some more glass. I wasn't going to go too crazy with the glass, because we've already got glass on the ceiling, but I think a little bit on the floor probably won't be too bad. I don't know what I think of that, and then maybe filling it in with iron, just so that we've just got like a massive iron base. Possibly? Let's quickly try this, I think I've got enough iron on me, I've got 11 here, I don't know if that's going to fill it all up, it did, it did. Nice, yeah, but it keeps it quite light and fluffy, kind of. Yeah, that doesn't detract too much, you know, having a, having a little bit of glass in there is nice, we'll be able to see the floor when it's actually looking good down there, right now it's just a massive hole in the floor. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I really like that actually, so I'm going to build that on this side, then we're going to probably just tweak a few more things, and then I'll come back to you guys to show you what I've done, and uh, yeah, just loads, loads of little bits and bobs for now, we'll probably do more in the future when we know what we're doing or what's planned, but as this building isn't really mine as such, uh, you know, I kind of want to check with everybody else and see what is up with things, but yeah, it's looking pretty cool, so let's do that side, and yeah, finish this thing off. Okay, so whilst I was derping around, I was just running up and down, tweaking little things here and there. Not much that you, I can really show you guys, but I found a, uh, a block that was wrong. One of these blocks was iron for some reason down there. So I went up here, but then as I was coming up here, I thought it'd be really nice to make... Because I don't want to put another pillar like that there anywhere. I really want to hold this, this part up, because it's kind of separate in a way. But I want to hold it up in a different manner. I don't want it to just be a pillar, so I'm thinking... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, or if I am even going to be able to- wait, am I going to do this? I feel like I need to be a lot lower down, which uh, isn't really helpful. But if I go like that, is my, are my sounds off right now? I think they are. Oh, my blocks are off. Um, but if I kind of go at like an angle, I think this might kind of work, and make it look a little bit more like it's being held up. So let's do that. And then, maybe that? I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that. Maybe that, that looks right. From here, at least, let's see what it looks like from down below. I don't know if you have to see it that much, but I've been just tweaking things here and there, as you can see. And, hmm. I think it needs to be a bit of a sharper angle. Maybe even just a, like a diagonal line across there. Let's give that a go, and I'll come back and show you guys if it actually even looks like it's being held up. I hope so. I hope it does. We will see. Okay, so I have no idea what Azuma's has done here, but I've just finished that one up there. Looks great, and th and you can see that this is the block I'm standing on right now that lines up with that iron pillar there. This side, however, the iron pillar isn't here. It's there. Um, I'm not sure why, or how, or anything, but now it looks like I need to tweak something, but like it must like line up there, so we don't know... I don't know what he's done. I think he, I think this bit up there, you can see that one there is too over. This one needs to like stop back here somewhere. So, oh man, then to like tweak the building a bit. Um, yeah, we'll come back in like an hour when I actually figure out how on earth I tweak this building to make sure it actually is symmetrical with the other side. Dang it, Azuma, why you not make it correctly? Dang it. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Very easy to get this thing wrong, but very confusing, very confusing. Well, sadly, I've run out of time for this episode, but it's looking pretty fancy. It's looking pretty fancy. This is basically what I was meant to do in this episode, basically, is this area, basically. But I kind of decided to do stairs as well. I couldn't really not do the stairs, though, to be honest, because they're meant to be attached to this. So I went down and to the side and things like that. I always had pillars, which is quite simple. Just started adding a few lights, just to see what it would look like. I feel like it's going to be... We need to basically leave the floor quite plain. That's the only problem with this area. But I've just done this at the bottom of the stairs as well. Just kind of making it actually flow a little bit better. But I think one of the things I've added that, that, that's my favourite so far is this like line. Where, you know, you stand behind it so you're not getting in the way of the machines and stuff. I really like that. I really like that. So... If, if uh, Azuma likes that and stuff like that, then it'd be cool to maybe add that elsewhere as well. I'm not sure where, maybe separating this area, uh, stopping people from going into whatever's going to be there. I don't know yet, but that's what I'm uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys about. Uh, that'd be cool. So I think that's probably all I've got time for. There is a baby zombie coming for, not me, you're going for that guy. Although I have been reading, whoa, hello, whoa, uh, Okay, <laughs> he did like a little twist and everything. But I have been reading this, uh, the to-do uh, list, and 
One of the things is making the video, vi video, uh, the villager trading buildings pretty, uh, which are these things out here, I think. So I don't know uh, who's doing that or whatever, but um, I don't know if I could even think of something to do with those guys other than like connect it to this building perhaps in some way and actually having some way to get to it. I guess that's kind of what that outside area is, I guess. Uh, but I'm definitely up for doing like outside areas as well. Giant poppy tree. Mm, giant poppy trees. That's interesting. Ah, huh, where could they go? That'd be kind of awesome, like some, like a group of poppy trees over there, a group of poppy trees over there. Well, like basically where I've got these things, like spread out quite nicely. One, a group of poppy trees over there, poppy trees over there, and then like fake grass with like the, uh, with the carpet. That could be kind of cool, that could be kind of cool. But uh, I think I'm going to talk to Azuma uh, when I, when I can. Um, yeah, with any ideas I have, I don't know. Also, I think there's somewhere... It's got a scenic waterfall, interesting. A proper spawn in the platform for respawning. I guess that's up there somewhere. I'm not I'm not I'm not hundred percent. Uh building pretty around it, joint heads of hermits. Totem pole, that could be interesting. I think I've tried doing that before, but I couldn't think of anything. A yeah, this one. Build a mural on the far side of the iron got iron building. I guess this 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 thing? I don't know if this is the mural, as in like some kind of Oh no, I guess it maybe it's there. Maybe a mural on there. Oh, you know what? That gives me a great idea. You know how iron golems have the vines going up them? I really wanted to add this in live stream, and I was like, I couldn't, couldn't think of where to put it, but some, like, the vines going up the wall like that. Uh, and not, like, the actual Minecraft vines, like, blocks, kind of in a, in a, in a way going up there. That would be awesome. I'm going to do that if, uh, if no one gets to that. <laughs> I'm just going to start building things here instead. But um, yeah, we should always need to get on with our hotel and stuff like that as well. But that's fine. We can do that at any point. So uh, I'm excited about the project. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what other people uh, other people get involved in things like that. And it should be fun. So do leave a like if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave any ideas you have down below and send me any screenshots you guys have of things uh, you would like built or you think might work nicely in this building. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.